and welcome <laughs> to the Hollywood Zoomcast, episode 20. I am Ozzy Munch. Keep him there. Small with worldwide. Your man, good. And today we have a guest special. Yes, introduce yourself. I'm I'm just Darian. Well, that wasn't that convincing. Was <laughs> I don't even believe that's your name at this point. That's, <laughs> I'm, I'm just Darian. All the helium went out the balloon on that one, yo. Come on. I know, right? Don't talk to us like we the police. Pretty high. Okay, like, okay, <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me let me reintroduce myself then. <laughs> Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Darian. So as you all know, we do several different things on this show as far as movies go. But lately, we've been going with something different. Something nobody does. We're doing career versus. Runge match! Anyway, uh, today we're going to have the one, the only, Will Smith versus, on the no slander list, Keanu Reeves. Your no slander list. You derail the show. Don't derail the show. Don't derail the show. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's go ahead and get into it. Who would like to go first? Mm, I'm going to give it. I'll go first. All right, great. Fantastic. So I did, I did, I was looking through both of them's careers. And I'm not going to go with specific, you know, movies yet as far as the ones that I used to compare and contrast. But I got to tell you, man, it was very, very close for me. Um, you know, slap aside with Will and the Jada thing. Um, all that aside, uh, Will has got a, quite a resume. But for me, and, and look, I can understand, look, I haven't seen every single movie in the world. I haven't seen every single movie in either in both of them's catalog, okay? Some of them would help and some of them would hurt. I've heard Six Degrees of Separation is a very good film. I never saw it, okay? I also heard that The Lake House might be a stinker. I never saw it, so that helped me can't read. So look, I, you know, I try to take everything into to account, all the movies that I've seen of these, these dudes. And from my count, including sequels as individualized movies because some people don't like every matrix and don't like every john wick or don't like every whatever right i have keanu by the slightest of margins winning over wilson that's my that's my go okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. i'm gonna jump in here right so when i go back through and i look at both of their careers both have had like super blockbusters both have had careers longer than we've been living, right? But what's yeah. incredible about it to me, Keanu has launched two franchises, right? One of them being The Matrix, right? One of the like world changing movies of all time. Now, you put that to the side. Keanu's also had Devil's Advocate, a movie I hold personally in high regard. Absolutely incredible. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> also you go back, you have Keanu with like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Like his range is absolutely impeccable until you come across Will Smith. Will Smith has had Men in Black. Again, world banger there. Will Smith also, Bad Boys franchise. Love it or hate it, it's a hit across the board. He also, one movie, right? Go back to 1996, Independence Day. That movie single-handedly shifted the way we looked at superstardom for movie stars in a long time. Not even Tom Cruise shook it up like that, right? Will Smith also came into the game from rapping, first rapper to win a Grammy. Shifts to, okay, a movie that most people would have stayed away from, Six Degrees of Separation. Well, if you know anything about the movie, uh, if you don't know anything about the movie, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But let's I know just some say stuff he plays, about Yeah, I know right. some stuff. He, he, he plays a character that's the furthest thing away away from what most rappers or anybody would stick to to this day, right? Um, when I look at what would I hold against Will Smith, right? Bagger Vance comes to mind. That's the one! <laughs> <laughs> the Magical Negro! I was gonna wait, I gotta wait for it. I gotta yeah. wait. Man, the Magical bro. Negro thing was just like, it was horrible, you know? And I'm just like, I can't believe he took the script. But Will Smith also turned down Matrix, right? But, ah. Also, the Matrix he turned down to his credit wasn't the Matrix that we saw. So I understand there's a little bit difference of philosophy there. But when you go back to Keanu's films, right? And the thing I like about Keanu, incredible range in the type of movies, but his character. Hold on. Not, You're going to stop saying range why with you, Keanu Reeves acting. Why, why are well, you going no range? There's no range. What are you doing? I'm sorry. 
There's no ranger key out of this rap act. No, 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 hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. Let me tell you a story. Okay, let me tell you about a guy who was a who was a bodybuilder and then became the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, anyway, look. Point yeah. is, is that he's got range. Watch this. Whoa. <laughs> That's range. What are you talking about? <laughs> so that goes to the second John, right? He had John Wick, right? And John Wick is still going strong. Doing's about to drop soon, but. You know, when when you talk about range into that credit, Greg, if you take away scoring from movies, a lot of people's favorite actors aren't actors anymore. But that's another discussion for another day. Because um, mm -hmm. the music heightens the mood. It makes the little wrinkle under their eye look interesting. It changes all of the above. But if I had to pick one between these two, I'm going with Will Smith. Wow. He shifted the paradigm and, and he shifted everything. You know, when Independence Day dropped, how he handled being a movie star, um, the consistent hits, right? almost 20 straight years in the summer will smith owned that right so when you look at it from a perspective of acting right hottest interviews right everything will smith was that guy everybody wanted to do will smith numbers right will smith was not even rapping anymore had rappers rapping about trying to get will smith money right so you're talking about i know sam jackson samuel l jackson is the highest grossing actor in history right but there's no Will way you could up there. Right. I mean, he's been in everything. <laughs> <you know. laughs> he, he's been he's been in Hollywood since silent I, films, yo. So <laughs> yo, Gary, I went to the bodega this morning for coffee and I thought he served me the coffee doing some scene study for a <laughs> Yo, how I, I, I seen Samuel you know? Jackson in a porn. This nigga next <laughs> you have this. not. That's slander, <laughs> yo. No <laughs> slander on Samuel L, man. All right, they done gotten out. We out of hand with this deep fake stuff, then. Okay. Uh, he said, hey, exactly. the name of the porn was Snakes in a Train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Listen, when I saw the trailer, I wasn't sure what we was about to see at first. So I don't know. <laughs> but the name, the no. name of the porn was Snakes in a Train. <laughs> <laughs> I sorry, don't even want to know why y'all know that, but <laughs> Google, baby. I'm sorry. It's, I missed three and a half stars. <laughs> like you can't go wrong either way, but like I said, 20 straight years is hard to do for success because there's a lot of people you see them come, you see them go, but his staying power, right? Um, his ability to sustain that excellence at a high level. Um, it says something about him. Um, Keanu's being quietly in the game right and and done a you know some good jobs he's had some runaway movie speed and all of that stuff but Be 20 well. years i'm going yeah i'm going with will smith so yo i'm gonna pass it to darian show us what you got oh, you know what talk to oh, us is wow. that I, well, I, 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 so look here hollywood smallwood i agree <laughs> with you i give it to will smith i don't, I don't even think it's really a, comp a competition man be quite honest with you i mean if we're just talking like the whole range as far as entertainment is concerned Poppy I mean, <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. I mean, if we're talking Hollywood and we're talking entertainment, Will Smith has got it by a mile, in my opinion. I mean, and I'm not even talking so much in terms of just like, in terms of like, I guess, acting ability, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's just remove that out of the equation, you know what I'm saying? The ret the returns in terms of like what what, uh, what Antoine had mentioned in terms of movies, music, um, and then just even handling stardom. I And that, for me, what, what kind of puts it over top for him is his producing credits, you know what I'm saying? So not only has he had been got himself, you know, he's mastered the Hollywood machine, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From all aspects. So now he can come with a project. He even got has writing credits, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he has got himself immersed in what you know what everything it means to be involved in Hollywood and has and is now in in full control of it. And as as well as got the accolades and hardware. And that's not saying that Keanu's not deserving of that stuff. I don't think maybe he hasn't, you know, gone through the, because there's also a, you know, a uh, a process going through to get that, those accolades and hardware. That I think Keanu's probably not really concerned with involve himself in, um, and that's and that's fine. I just think like these guys are taking like two different tracks to to their stardom, and how they show their artwork within Hollywood or even get involved in Hollywood. That you know I'm not even sure it's really even fair to compare them on that aspect. You know what I'm saying? Keanu really kind of strikes me as someone who's like, he loves doing the art and, and expression, that kind of stuff. He doesn't really want to be bothered with all the rest of the Hollywood st stuff. While while Will seems like, he's like, yo, I want it all. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get involved in it all. I'm gonna be in this. I'm gonna learn how to master the system, play the game, 
you know what I'm saying? Slap a comedian if I need to, you know what I'm saying? It's it it, it doesn't make yo, a difference. Yo, what's that slanderous, man? I, I'm gonna let it lie. I'm gonna let it ride though. Word, Look, to me, and, and also, and like let's say getting back to the Matrix thing, like I said, Will got that offer first. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, so imagine how, what 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 is Keanu's impact look like if he never gets the Matrix? You know what I'm saying? What is yes. what is Will's impact look like if he does get the Matrix? Because I don't see how he could be Neo, honestly. After after Keanu did it, why 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 not? Yeah, it, because of the way Keanu did the role, like the way that he did the role is like there's no other way anybody can see Neo after that. Uh, I got I got uh, He was robotic, like he's he's like <laughs> like the whole part part robot thing. I don't think Will could be, be like part robot. And Will's a bad <laughs> dude as far as acting, but I don't think he could be going around so subdued. Yeah, well, I, okay, I, I think you could. Will's I, a hell of an actor. I think he could too. I think it would have been a challenge for him. You to I think in that in that aspect in the same way the six degrees of separation was in terms of the departure of what he was used to. Because like you said, he he's used to playing roles where he is dominant in terms of uh and confident in his ability. You know what I'm saying? Because I think um because I think uh, so what when did he play uh, Ali? That was what two thousand uh um in two thousand like oh one okay yeah oh one okay but one? Matrix Matrix was probably what ninety nine so we're still talking within a two or three year time frame you know what I'm saying and even him coming off of, off of um Fresh Prince of Bel Air you know what I'm saying which was more of a fish out of a fish out of war aspect not so much with Neo being like I'm not sh being a very not uh, unconfident individual in his capability you know what I'm saying sure. I'm not sure if if Will could have played that out the gate. But to say to tell me that Will cannot play that, I don't think that's the case. You know what I'm saying? And it's not because I think, like I said, that uh, Keanu is a much better actor or or whatever. I think Will could could actually could pull it off. Maybe not to like said, to the degree that Keanu has. And I um and so to be clear, he, I think as far as acting ability, I think Will Smith is a better actor. I mean, like oh, okay. a very good actor. Okay. He's a very good actor. He can do, I mean, like the list of movies when I was going down the list, I was like, this dude does, he can do anything. Yeah. So, so like Pursuit, of, if he, now if we're talking like Pursuit of Happiness, man. Happiness Will, <laughs> if he had that mind frame and that approach to it in that 99 time frame, he could have pulled it off. You know what I'm saying? Because that was that, that case of that man, you know, having a character where you didn't have it all. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have the ability, but he, he built up to in the end getting those you know getting himself together understanding what his capabilities are believing in himself mm. to you know to you know be that the final the final uh hero archetype that we see at the end of these action films to beat the final boss and to save the debt you know what i'm saying but so yeah if he had if he had uh so so imagine now like i said he had uh 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 the matrix you know what i'm saying so we might see uh will smith as john wick <laughs> in the john wick universe or carrying the carrying that that series go, going out um but yeah I, I to me will, will's got it by a mile man the most subdued i've ever seen will smith on a movie outside of you know pursuit of happiness was was probably i robot and he still wasn't <laughs> Did you see? Did you see it? <laughs> and he was. And don't get me wrong. I think I Robot is very entertaining, but he wasn't very. That was listen, him being low key, and it was still like, yo, did that robot done? I was like, yo, listen. Wait, we, <laughs> did you see Collateral Beauty though? I thought he was. I did not. I did not. Seven and pounds. And, 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 seven and, pounds. Later, I saw him in that. Yeah. yeah seven pounds someone. too. Seven pounds. Is, he was very good in Seven Pounds. I love yes. Seven Pounds. Listen, as a sci-fi as a sci-fi person, don't get me started about iRobot. It's still a a a um <laughs> a guilty <laughs> pleasure for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm also we're also gonna have a one. We might have a uh might have to bite me on Hollywood uh, Hollywood uh, uh a session on when we talk about Shia LaBeouf's c career and how much I can't stand watching him on or listen to him on screen. Oh boy! You know what I'm saying? So that was, you know, anytime I see him pop up, I'm like, hold on a I, second, man. You're not, you're not, I'm not gonna sit here and let you dis disparage the name, the the great great name. Of <laughs> uh, look, look, let me, uh, I'm gonna, go, look, I'm gonna pass the mic, man. I mean, jeez, yep. I mean, golly, I mean, jeez. <laughs> Rhymedy. TJ, go ahead, man. You're next, man. Man, you guys have said a lot. Um, <laughs> you said a whole lot. You've gone. I will say. The idea that Keanu doesn't have any range, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I mean, 99 yeah. was the Matrix, 2000 was like the replacements or whatever, right? Yeah. He oh, was good enough. Yeah. Oh, Hardball, too. Don't forget Hardball, bro. Oh, hardball. yo. I love Hardball. Hold on a second. Yeah, so he's got some range. 
But I, I am in agreement with the statements about Will Smith being a better actor. There's no, I don't think that that's a very fair comparison, you know, based on what I've seen of Will Smith. Um, this is a this is a tough one. But well, since we got one Keanu, we got two Will Smiths. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna make it more of a personal thing. Okay. Oh man. Mm. The movies in Will Smith's catalog, fantastic. Keanu Reeves, same thing. But if I'm gonna put something in to watch, I'm probably going the Keanu route. He does mm. more of the kind of movies that I enjoy. Right? The Not Matrix, true. John Wick, that kind of stuff. That that's that's my bag, man. Devil's advocate with the with the lawyers and the court cases and all that. It's a fan of man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I mean, looking at their careers, there are some <laughs> similarities. That yeah, Will I, <clears throat> Will Smith did have a little bit of a dip. I I saw what was it? Uh, Wild Wild West, and he followed that up with T Bag Pants or whatever, right? He followed that up. <laughs> About <laughs> legendary bands, <laughs> legendary. Yeah, he legendary called... slander, yo. Yo, that's, that's slanderous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, you know, he 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 built up all this momentum, and then he he's kind of you know dipped down, and then then he came back really really strong after that. I guess Keanu's probably got the same thing on his career, but with his with the movies of his that I that I enjoy watching. They're higher on my list than the Will Smith movies that I enjoy watching. So I'm going Keanu yeah. just on a personal note. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. I mean, Keanu got some hits though, like Johnny Mnemonic, oh, yeah. Not For Nothing. That yeah. shit was, that yeah, was I, I love Johnny Mnemonic. Yep. See, that's yeah. one, that's <laughs> one that I didn't see, right, of his. So that, that goes against him, but I've always heard good things about Johnny Mnemonic. Has anybody oh, just this? throw chain reaction in there too? I love chain reaction. I love, that's hey, mine. I love chain reaction too. <laughs> I love has, chain reaction. Has anybody seen a scanner darkly? No. <laughs> Um, check check that out. Who's a, that, that's a Keanu movie? Yes, he's in there. It's a it's a whole movie done in rot, uh, what's called rotoscope. Have you ever, you know what that is? Mm -hmm. no, so ba rotoscoping is basically if I hopefully I get this right and and uh, Antoine can okay, you can probably give me the if I'm wrong heading down the wrong direction. It's like you have the actors right, but what they do is they they uh it, it's a kind of like a cartoon, but they overlay the cartoons based on. Oh, the real. I ha I have heard of that. Okay, okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So I love that movie visual, just for the visuals of it. I mean, he's in, he's in there as well. Um, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, there's a lot. TJ, you highlight. There's a lot of good movies. Like you said, um, that that uh, Point Break will always be a favorite Point of Break. mine. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Speed <laughs> as well. You know what I'm saying? He's up there, dog. Um, I, and the one thing I do like about Keanu, in terms of the with the Matrix and that aspect. So for me, I always like to. I do this thing when I do like I always like do like movie universes and connected connected movies. You know what I'm saying? I always think of like one actor being like the same character just floating through movies. So to me, uh, the Matrix is like a perfect movie for him because I, I usually fold all his movies under under the Matrix as being like training program movies <laughs> to to the Matrix. His character. John Wick is perfect. I see that. I see where that goes. And and uh, and, yeah. and uh, was it Fishborn is in that right? So, yes. Yes. Back. And now with all that Keanu love, we'll go to Greg. Greg, uh, what you got? <laughs> okay. Let's 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 be honest here, man. Oh boy. Come on, Buck. Come on with it, Buck Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> got right, first of all. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> all right, Keanu Reeves. If you're gonna go with best movies out of all of these guys' careers, Keanu's definitely got the best movie of all. The Matrix, the first Matrix, I mean, you're not going to get much better than that. It, right. it, it's a classic amongst classics. Yeah, he's got the second and third, too. Second and third what? Best movies of the two. No, not true. Devil's Advocate, man. Come on. Okay, man. first off, let me address this Devil's Advocate thing. <laughs> you know Nobody right watches the Devil's Advocate for Keanu Reeves' performance. That's okay? not true. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I that. Al Pacino is the reason why that movie is what it is. Nah. Period. <laughs> Pacino's nasty. 
Yeah. Keanu he's... Reeves, you can take out every line that he said in that movie just about, and really? it's still a great movie. Really? And you you being black, who thought of that? You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know what's on there. You don't even know what's on the devil's attic. But the point being is, people mess with that movie because Al Pacino killed it. He murdered that role. So that has, I, I mean, I counted it. Of course, it's a Keanu Reeves movie, but it ain't a Keanu Reeves movie. Yo, I'm, a, I'm not going to derail the Pacino show. Movie. I'm not going to derail the show, but you're going to keep Keanu's name out your uh, <laughs> Everybody killed in that movie, actually. Everyone um, did a great job, but we know yeah. who the star of that movie was. Probably Theron, yeah, yeah. We know who the star was. <laughs> she did. She did, absolutely. The point being is, when you really break it down, I think the lists are so close together, movie for movie, that to me, it just comes down to straight <laughs> acting. Now, with oh. most of these movies, I can see Will Smith playing the role that um, Keanu Reeves has played. I can't see it the reverse way. What? I can't. He I can can't, see can't Will Smith Jaden Smith's playing... father in Pursuit of Happiness. What are you doing? Say what now? He said he can't be Jaden Smith's father in Pursuit of <laughs> Happiness. Like, how are you going to do something Look, like I'm going to take the race part out of it, please. Could you be hypothetical for five minutes? Come, come on, Jaden. It's, it's, it's Pursuit of know. Different Strokes at that point in time. No, no. What, is he going to play Mr. Drummond? <laughs> Listen. Mr. Papadopoulos, is this fucking Webster? Come on, man. <laughs> Family show, Greg. I don't appreciate that. Just part. work with me on this. Keep, keep going. I'm sorry. I, I like, you. like I can't see. I could never see Keanu Reeves carrying a movie like I Am Legend. It's just not gonna happen. He so can't cool. do that. Mm. Maybe, maybe Hitch. Mm. Maybe yeah, what? Maybe the Hitch. Hitch. Hitch might be a problem, but I can see He's him doing that. He's not charming but, enough to pull off Hitch. Yeah, I am legend. I can see him doing though. I'm saying. Yeah, I am legend. I, I agree. agree. I go with that. You think so? I don't think yeah. he can pull it off. I don't think he can pull it off. I don't think he can pull it off to that degree. I know no, he I can't pull this. off anything that has like he can't do hitch. It's just it's just not gonna happen. I mean, I'm not gonna say honestly, that I think only Will Smith could do hitch. Exactly, and that's the point that I'm getting at. But Some I'm saying things, like those those are extra charming people. Like not everybody's on the level of charming of that. That doesn't make them. You know, I give you that like I said, it comes down to acting overall for me because both their movies, like I can't be mad at anyone who's picked Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves had an amazing career. Will Still Smith does. has had an amazing career. But when you break it all the way down, what you have to look at is individual skill set at that point. And an individual skill set, Will Smith has got a wider range and he's just a better actor all around. <laughs> so I got to go with Will Smith. And plus, if, if, if you want to put together all the whole catalogs, you're going to get a variety of things dealing with Will Smith stuff. Most of Keanu Reeves is going to be, you know. Keanu Reeves. When are you going to laugh? <laughs> when are you going to laugh? What There's do you no mean? laughs in Keanu's career. <laughs> what do you mean? Zero. Lewis doesn't make people laugh a lot either, man. Come on. Yeah. He said, I, what? I'll say this, Greg, though. <laughs> Both of them in their prime went toe to toe with Titans, right? So, like in Enemy of the State, Will Smith went toe to toe with Gene Hackman. Ah, Gene Hackman is incredible, right? Um, yeah. Keanu and Much Ado About Nothing, he went toe to toe oh, with right. Prime Denzel. Yep. And a Denzel who comes from the theater world that knows all about that, you know type of material so Keanu wasn't bad in that by any stretch he was actually quite good so I know that he he has this appearance to be wooden and people always criticize his acting and everything but Keanu has it's hard to describe but it's him he has this thing that's magnetic that works for a lot of these characters stinking movies aside like he can act Keanu plays a great Keanu but no 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 <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna let you that's go it go <laughs> you're the He's slander you know did Keanu you ever see the movie? Did you ever see the movie of Walk in the Clouds? Remember back then uh, Hollywood kept doing these these war veterans coming home lost and shit, and they might have been the same person, not the same person. Yeah, he was he was actually incredible. And there's I a lot of new ones. Yeah, I remember that one? Yeah, yep. that's like '96 ish or something like that, I think. All right, let's, so 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 we've established that we have some bona fides as far as watching films. So why don't we go through and say some of our best films from each person, the ones that we uh we actually did to uh, to make it to make the decisions that we did. So I'll go first, just as an example. So I mean, Devil's Advocate is my goat movie of all time. Everybody knows this. She really knows me. I mean, Keanu Reeves was was good in that movie. He was really good. In that movie. He was solid. Everyone, mm -hmm. everyone to to quote uh, Mino has an ass off in that movie. Ass off. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 I mean, it was a, to me it was a perfect movie. It's layered. 
you know, you see something new every time you watch it. And that movie was made in like 96. I digress from that point. Matrix is the Matrix, but I like the entire series. With the exception of maybe, I guess, this newer version where they made Trinity like Neo. Not that it has anything to do with Trinity. It was just more so the story was kind of weird. But um, but I really like the Matrix series, the entirety of it. I feel like a lot of people kind of missed some of the points that they were trying to make with the with the series. Um, I digress because I see Darian's face doing what he's doing. <laughs> John Wick is in the midst of being the greatest uh, movie franchise of all time. Rocky is uh, also being talked about, bantered about by some people who will name nameless, Greg. Anyway, so- Rocky's got two, <laughs> got one and a half bad movies. Let me finish, please let me finish. <laughs> please let me finish, okay? So let, let, let's go with this, okay? So we got like speed, we got chain reaction, we got Constantine. Oh, um, yes, of, okay, yeah. yeah. Yes, ridiculous. yes. Yes. So, so I mean, like we got. I mean, like a man got moved. He got. He got stacks on it. Now, I will give this to Will Smith. I am legend. Legendary performance. Pursuit of happiness. Legendary performance. Seven pounds. Very underrated performance. Focus. Mm -hmm. That movie was very good. Yes. I don't think I've seen, think I've seen Focus that. Focus was dope. Focus was very dope. underrated. Pretty chance that you should have yeah. that out. Focus was very good. I okay. wrote out entertaining. Uh, bad boy. <laughs> entertaining. You know, <laughs> very very <laughs> good. Especially <laughs> first. Uh, Independence Day. It's 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 looking bad in the light over the years, but Will Smith did his thing in the movie. Half um, of the movie's amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah, I like, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> like I said, it's looking funny in the light, but when it came out, it was uh, I was you know I was the first one talking about wanting to see <laughs> Hancock, a very underrated superhero movie. I thought and, you was about to slander it. I'm like, nah, Hancock. No, nah, I thought it was great. very underrated. Yeah. Um, it wasn't great, great, but it wasn't bad. It was it was. It was kind of it where it was below Constantine as far as like that goes, but it was near. Oh, yeah. It was good. Um, you know, Hitch, I mean, he's a he's a lovable bastard who could, could be my <laughs> enemy of the state. Dope. Uh, I'm not going to go through his entire catalog. I mean, Ali, he should have won her in a Hold on, but I want you to stop for a second. Bro. Right. I need now, to. Listen, listen, go to listen, the... listen to what you just did for what? Keanu. You named two franchises and a couple of French fries. Oh, I could have gone over. Smith, <laughs> you just kept going and going. You found no, yourself. I, I stopped. Right. I stopped. I stopped because I'm, I'm trying I to leave. I'm trying to leave. You know what? You know what? No you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? That's why you're right. I am gonna name some more Will Smith movies. I'm gonna name Bagger Vance. And I'm gonna wait. Goddamn Wild Wild <laughs> West. That's what I'm gonna name. That's why he lost. Hold on. Okay? Now hold, hold up. Hold up, man. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you one Will Smith movie. Like those were bad. <laughs> But I've never seen, he wasn't bad in them. They were bad movies. That's a lie. Mm. Let me finish. <laughs> Can I finish? Hey, 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 Maury Povich, hey, Maury Povich came out with the joy. Hey, hold on a second. Those were bad movies. Ooh, he wasn't bad in them. The only <laughs> time I've seen Will bad in a movie was Concussion. Not a strong oh, that was that what That was he Tell the truth, the tell the truth. Yeah, not a strong <laughs> performance. Not a good performance at all. He did it not was, spend enough time in the yeah. lab before they got him to get in the oh, shoot. Man. I agree. Will Smith agree. trying to do accents, that's where we end the didn't conversation. They, didn't they work out the Oscars after that? Yes, they did. And they were, they chose the wrong year. The year they should have Chris Rock went up there and roasted the shit out of him. And that was the start of their public. Oh, he didn't theater. roast him. Will, he roasted mm, yeah. Jada. <laughs> yeah, but he, he took a couple shots. That shit was funny, though. It was yeah. hilarious. If any of you seen After Earth? Have y'all seen that one? I did. I, did. It. I saw it. I never watched it. <laughs> Wait, what'd you ask? If you seen what? I heard it wasn't good, so I never watched it. After Earth, it, it's it's it's. Will's okay. not even really in that movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it was more of a Jaden Jaden uh, franchise. Yeah. The reason why I didn't watch it because I heard the Scientology was all over. It. Oh boy, it was funny. I never I, didn't, <laughs> I heard that too, what? and I didn't take it that way. I took it like a father trying to teach his son certain things or what have you, but. I could see why somebody would say that, but yeah. the movie as a whole, what I thought it suffered from was like poor after effects and things like that. And mm. storyline could have been a little stronger. And especially in that time frame when it dropped, I mean, special effects was at an all time high. So I was like, what was the budget for that? You know, for them to yeah. come out on that side. Again, it wasn't, it's not the worst thing that I've seen. And I thought the core of the movie was solid, but yeah, I get it. Yo, yeah. well, Antoine, go ahead, go through your movies real quick about um about what made you decide uh, Will Smith. Um, I, I like sci-fi and horror. You know that already. If you watch the show, I am Legend. Um, it's incredibly difficult, whether you know about acting or not, to act against a green screen alone, right? Let alone to do it damn near for an entire movie. Mm -hmm. Let alone to be intriguing enough and have the kind of um, 
energy to get somebody to watch you. A lot of people tried. You've seen uh, Matthew McConaughey, I think, Interstellar or something like that. You've seen a bunch of movies where people try to jump, jump into it and be the only thing that you watch for two hours. Will Smith put on a masterclass with I Am Legend. Um, the uncut version even better if you've never seen it or purchased it or what have you. Only, only yeah. one who's done it better is probably Tom Hanks in Castaway, and that's still that's oh like, yeah 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 that mm. was that was another one that was another yeah. one that was just but listen Tom Hanks is a, man listen that's another conversation we got to have him on the verse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to I was about to get my Tom Hanks bag off the top, but um, yeah um, Tom Hanks I, is I, tough. I, There's very few that can go head to head with Tom. Tom Cruise yeah. would like a word. <laughs> that would actually He'd be a very like good a word. He'd also yeah. like a pair of platforms so he can lick you in your chin. But no. Um... What happened there? <laughs> what happened there? Ooh. I personally don't. I, hey, Sorry, look, I, I allow. I allow Tom Cruise slander. I don't. I don't know where, where this love for him is coming from. I was talking about Tom Hanks. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I know. I got my times mixed up. I apologize to everybody. <laughs> Keep going, Antoine. No, I'm sorry. I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't mean to derail you. It's all good. I love it. Uh, I Am Legend to me was, was the one. Um, also, Ali. Um, I think it takes a big personality to take on a personality and somebody who's had a life that big. And I thought the choice alone, people talked about critically more. Um, Boom Dini, which was played by Jamie Foxx, right? But and he killed that joint. Mm -hmm. He did. He did to the to the core. But people overlooked Will Smith's performance because they were looking for like a one-to-one -one accent. They looked past some of the more um smaller things that he was able to portray and bring to life with Ali in that movie that I just thought made it phenomenal. I'm a, I'm probably in a minority because a lot of people are 50-50 on the movie. But when I look at a biopic, like if somebody did a biopic on Stevie Wonder, I don't expect you to sound like Stevie singing, you know. And the problem is they go after it. Like, look at the Tupac movie, for instance. That guy looked just like him, Demetrius, uh, whatever his last name is, right? Guess what? The movie was horrible. You turn it off within five or six minutes, right? And you didn't even get to the lack of skill set that they all had to do that shit. It was just a horrible movie. But Will Smith and Ali was just, it really was next level for that time in terms of biopics. You hadn't had a lot of um, amazing ones prior to that. You had, and you can count on one hand is what I'm saying, mostly like Denzel, played Hurricane Carter, Denzel did Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. You can go down to, um, Denzel did um, Cry Freedom, I think it was, Steve Biko. Yep. Um, yeah, he was I mean, Steve Biko, yep. So, so he gave you three of the hottest ones right there, and, and that was within a 20 plus year. I mean, De Niro, year. Raging Bull too, let's not, yeah. Oh, not yeah, sleep. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. And so when I looked at Will Smith doing that, I also turned around, I look at movies like Collateral Beauty. Because if you don't have a blockbuster, you just have like a movie that you might turn on on a sleepy Saturday and be like, yo, what is this? Right? It's a movie that you will watch start to end. And he's a real reason why you watch a lot of the movies that he's starring in. A lot of people get it confused because you have an A side and a B side, right? Some actors going to the movie, they're the name, but you're not watching the movie for them. Everybody around them is great, but them, right? Mm. Um, and you can't say that for Will Smith in like 95% of the flicks he's in. And it, I'm looking past the stinkers, right? Like a bag of ants or something like that. and. Wild Wild West. I thought he held his own with Kevin Klein and Salma Hayek because I was a kid, but I wasn't looking at Will Smith. I was checking for Salma Hayek. And guess what? <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> just keep it real here, right? But it was like, um, he was good. They're the comedic timing, you know, it was one of those things that I was like, oh, he has something. And again, it's a thing that if you're just watching to be entertained, you know, it's great. If you're watching for the story, you're able to follow along. It was cheesy, it was corny, it was a bunch of things, but it was what it was supposed to be. Um, when I watched him in uh, Enemy of the State with uh, Regina King, you know, oh, Regina yeah. King is a monster, you know, and a yeah. lot of people don't give her, you know, Brenda from 227 her credit, but like, she's great, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he held his own on a multitude of levels in that movie. The dude who played the monster in the movie in the kitchen, he's another one. It's, he's a scene stealer. He's a he's nasty. I forget his name, but so Will Smith. Is that Tom Sizemore in that one? Was it Tom I, Sizemore? I don't remember his name. From any he, like, he, he was the one talking about you going to jail for felonious cock sucking and all of that. That shit yeah. was funny, but he was <laughs> he was killing the robot. Like, like Will Smith. It's family show, Antoine. It's family show. Good <laughs> <laughs> talking movies, but no. Um, it's, it's just so many different things when I look at Will Smith's career, they get overlooked because people either don't personally like him or him and Jaden and like, I look at the art of what he did and what he put out there, right? The rest of it, I don't know, I don't care. It's just like a matter of the work itself. 
he's an incredible actor, man. And the transition, you don't even talk about, he was actually a really good rapper too. Mm -hmm. So the transition from that to that, and all of it is storytelling, is phenomenal. Um, that's why I had to choose him. I mean, if I go to Keanu, Keanu has great franchises. And again, I know um, uh, Mother was a seamstress or something like that with costumes or what have you. So he's, he was kind of birthed in the business a bit, but you wouldn't know it by the way that, you know, he attacks his work as well. And Keanu, I think is underrated um, in the kind of movies that he chooses because we just see the blockbuster franchises to take off for sales. But Keanu has some chops, you know what I'm saying? And if you go back through his career, his comedic timing, again, it's always on display. And there's little underrated gems that sit in his catalog. I know Greg, I saw it, but I'm just telling you. It's, <laughs> the, man, the, man, the man is immaculate, you know? Um, even in his serious movies, there's elements of comedy that he just gets off. And it's like that blink of a moment. And if you're watching the film, you'll catch it and you'll enjoy it. So listen, I respect both of them. I love both of them. Um, like he was in, what's her name? Her last stand-up was nasty, yo. So bad it ended up getting her a divorce, but I think that was the goal. Ali Wong. Always be my maybe or something like oh, that. Oh right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Actually, he was he was funny in that for that scene that he had. Yeah, hilarious. yeah, he's funny hilarious. in that, yo. He was and funny on two ferns, man. He's funny on two ferns. Oh, the interview joint. Yo, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo, yo, you taking it back? Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was funny. Two ferns, oh, pretty funny. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that is that kind of thing. So when I, when I look at it, you know, I look at the, the span of somebody's work, you know, and I look at their ability to take chances. I think he's done that, but his chances were things that are beneath the radar wheels. He shot for the moon and he wanted all the smoke. That's I a have fair, nothing but respect for that. That's a real fair thing to say. That's a real fair yeah. thing. Uh, I'm going to go TJ and then Darren uh, on this one. I'm going to switch it around a little bit. TJ, go ahead. Yeah, you listed about a bunch of the Keanu movies, you know. I mean, I, I, I guess I kind of said it in the first part of what I was saying, the Matrix series, the John Wick series, but there's some other hidden ones there too, right? Like Antoine was saying, I'm trying to think Ace of- Ace Toyland you know, is funny, yo. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw Replicas, I think was the name of the movie. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. That was pretty good, right? Like I, the only reason why I even I like watched it is because I saw his name there. I don't know if it, if it was in theaters or anything like that. It might've been one of those go straight to DVD type movies. T, what's the one where he was uh he was the samurai's like uh oh 47 Ronin yeah yeah that was, yeah. Good. That was, that was good. great too that yeah that's another good. movie I j I watched it because I saw his name I didn't know anything about the movie before that um so yeah <laughs> <laughs> the way he, he, I guess because of his acting style he attracts those kinds of movies. And so for me, I mean, just about all the movies that he's in, at least the movies uh, after The Matrix, before that, he kind of did a bunch of assorted stuff from, from the list that I saw. Um, most of the movies are at least entertaining to me, right? Um, we, we all know Will Smith is is a masterful entertainer. I mean, you guys have gone through his entire career from the time he was rapping to Fresh Prince to uh, Darian, I, I think you even had said something about producer credits and some some other things that, that he's done within the business. But um, yeah, a lot of my argument is really based on my own personal entertainment. I mean, um, Keanu has, he has his niche, I'll call it. Um, and he has, he has talent, but his talent is not, I don't think it's, a, it's, it's as extensive as, as Will Smith's talent. He's just, uh, he, he's a natural, he's, he's gifted. You guys are talking about how charismatic he is. Um, the, the 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 fact that he's been able to have an entire hip hop career without maybe dropping even one swear word the whole time is a testament to how clever he is. Yeah, right? he's very yeah, very clever. Yeah, so he's a, he's a very smart man as well. He's very um, very charismatic, and he's a, and he's a good actor. You know, I, I I see him dig pretty deep in in uh, in some of his movies. But you know, for me, uh, those are entertaining, but. If I'm just, you know, kicking back by myself and I want to watch something that entertains me, I'm going Neo or I'm going Mr. Wick, right? That's just, yeah. that's... <laughs> can't go wrong with Wick, yo. You yeah. can't. You really can't. Yeah. But that's yeah. all I got. Yeah. All right, man. That's, that's, hey, man, that's a fair enough. Uh, Darian, you your go. Okay. Well, like I said, just to give on the record, as far as the the competition between the two, I, I'm, again, I hand it to, to Will Smith. Um, as far as the movie out of his long career, the one that resonates with me the most in terms of his performance 
will always be Ali. I mean, that's one of those films that, for me, not just him, but the ensemble of cast, I think the the, the storyline that they chose, I mean, it was just a great movie overall, in my opinion, for, you know, uh, looking at a great man in, in his in his prime and how he dealt with, with the world and, and whatnot. And I think Will filled that role perfectly. Um, it was, it was Will Smith's Malcolm X. I, I, absolutely in terms of ju- and just in terms of performance um just the relatability even if he did like you said you know I, I wasn't worried about him sounding like ali you know what i'm saying i got for me i got lost in what he was presenting in terms of the of who ali was in those moments you know what i'm saying that's what i was was focused on in his performance and it's one of those films that if i even see if i come across it you know or i see it i'm going to sit and watch it till till the end it's just a to me it's a, a beautiful film i think he did a, a magnificent job in that and i think it showed all his 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 faculties in terms of you know the acting aspect and the action aspect as well um on the flip side with keanu it's always going to be the matrix um for me again like i said i tell you how like everything kind of fits neatly under that that movie universe for him but i think that just that movie itself also same same reasons it's a great film also what it's trying to convey the the progression of the of his character through there to the end i mean i remember i remember walking out of the theater first time seeing that and being inspired you know what i'm saying just feeling inspired by by that you know what i'm saying by that film now the rest of the films in that series i i, I give it a uh, it's you know it's whatever you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, I, yeah i understand the concept there i don't think that they they fully went there to the concept that it could have been in my mind you know what i'm saying but they, that's but that's you know the story yeah they they went off they they kicked that black lady out of the industry <laughs> <laughs> so if she, if she so would have been involved, so interesting side note, right? <laughs> so when that when that whole controversy came out, I was because because part of me in back back of my mind was I could see that being written by black. I was like, I not that I'm you know trying to put pill race. I was like, I was like, I never I could have seen somebody black writing that because I was like because because when they because that part in the film Cause Zion was because Zion had a bunch of color in it. That's why no 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 not in the that's the, that's more of the second film. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The first film when when Keon was like when um, Morpheus got captured, he was like, "I'm going to get him." I was like, "What?" Because <laughs> <laughs> soon as he got captured, I was like, "Oh, well, you know," because so, I was like, "He was like, he played a great." I was like, "He had a great role, man." Uh, Morpheus it was nice knowing you. He's like, no, I'm gonna get that black man. What? <laughs> <laughs> and he went back and got him. I was like, and so when he rescued him, you know what I'm saying? That whole thing jumping in the helicopter, yo. I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is going on? How is this happening? You know what I'm saying? So, so, so when based off of him, out, based off of him, right, I was like, you, I'm be honest, I was like, I was like, I don't like think, I, was like, I don't remember no white person be able to write nothing like this for black folks. Yeah. <laughs> That's just me, and I'm a sci-fi junkie. Trust me, I'm, there's not up until like you know '99. There's probably not a sci-fi movie that I have not seen. You know what I'm saying? And so you know, black characters surviving and also being so prominent is rare. That's why that mm-hmm. that the Matrix like stuck with me so much. You know what I'm saying? And a couple of the fact, like I said, if Will got that job, that movie becomes black as you know what I'm saying, automatically. Yeah. So that and that's assuming they keep Lawrence Fishburne as, as Morpheus. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you said, Zion, and then even looking afterwards, afterwards, Zion is very Zion full of people of color. color you know what i'm saying a lot of color one of so, the is that represent like harlem down there probably right <laughs> so, you know, and, and you know and credit to the wakowski uh brothers and or sisters now you know what i'm saying what oh you know, yeah um but you know i just i i just you know up to that point i was like I, if you could have told me it's like yeah if they had a black writer or something on the back of that i would have i would have been more keen to believe that than than them writing that that's just uh, me. You they definitely, saying? it was definitely a black woman. I, I forget her hey, name. Listen, you hear the story. It was definitely listen, her. I, I've, I've read the story. I, I'm certain. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay. So, so getting back to, to this, yes, Keanu is the one for me. In ter- that, that's the movie for me in terms of that. There'll always be Keanu, um, peak Keanu for me. Um, but also, let me, let me, let me, let me do something right before we hand it off. All right. We gotta stop this wild, wild west slander, son. <laughs> Yo, what are you talking about? Stop it. About? Why they, do we had a, they had a 20 foot spider. There's no way I'm not slanting. <laughs> okay, well, see, I'm a, I'm also a steampunk fan, so that was just like in, <laughs> in a civil war. No, but that's Keanu. Keanu steampunk. Yes, but th- th- not like Wild Wild West, bro. Like this, that, that, that was like right up my alley. Good? It wasn't the greatest film, 
But man, come on, yo. Huh? No, it was better good now. Good about it. Was it the, come good. on, what's the soundtrack to team up with? And I don't hear no more Baltimore slant up in this piece either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with the Mr. Thong song himself, the silver head bandit, Cisco. Okay? Remixing what happened? A Stevie what happened Wonder there? classic. What happened? Come on Nobody. now. Mm. Nobody slanders Baltimore. For that once. makes up for Nobody. Any. There is no Baltimore slander. There is no yeah, Baltimore slander. slander. That makes that that's, that song right there makes up for any missteps for that film. The Wild Wild West song, you say? Yes, Mi son. Mm. Yes. So <laughs> what did I just hear? I'm mm. sorry. Go ahead. He said what? <laughs> yeah, that's Reed Richard reason right there, bro. Let me tell you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Raise your hand. I'll life. tell you what. I will say this, though. I will say this. Every song Cisco's on, ass off. Anyway. Go, go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very fair. Cisco. <sighs> Cisco be going in. Back in his heyday. Oh, boy. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it, to, to, to me, it's obvious here. Keanu Reeves is great I had a great career masterful okay. even he ain't will smith man will smith is he he's he's he's, he's really close to top five really close to top five top five of what actors of all time sucker <laughs> yo <you> <laughs> bumped your head. what are you talking about he said what i said you bumped your head what are you talking about <laughs> Wait a minute, there's Dylon. Uh -huh. Dylon. Exactly. That's what I'm Dylon. saying. Look. And, Dylon. and Will. Wait a minute. Will. Wait a minute. <laughs> I said it did Will. Will has got to be like a. He's not like a top five black eight. actor of all time. He has, a, he has a top five career as an actor, I'd say. Uh, yeah. I said he's close to top five. I didn't say he was top five. I said he's close. He's in the top five. Uh, no, if you're ten. talking about career, Somewhere. Versus skills is different. Career, yeah. Top five. He's got he's both, though. He's got career and skills. Yes, no, but there's a there's a talk, there's a handful of people better than him. You talking about there's like talking seven about, or eight people you, that's better you, than him. You throwing him in, in these categories. Morgan Freeman when you say stuff like that. And Morgan, said, Freeman, I saw him pimp slap somebody so fast the other day on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, that was an amazing movie. That's that was my introduction to Morgan Freeman. I don't know who this old Negro is. They saw him you know, <laughs> with this smooth voice. I remember Morgan as a pimp. <laughs> he taught me how to. He taught you me how to count talk and he, or something and like he that. He has a great backhand. Yeah. That's what I know about Morgan Freeman. Was that before, or after the Electric Company? Oh, that was right after the Electric Company. You can't be <laughs> pimp slapping people, then teach kids their ABCs. It's just not allowed. <laughs> I thought it was during the Electric he Company. He made a firm know. choice that he was done with the Electric Company. <laughs> you can't play a pimp and then go back and be like, you know, hang out with Spider Man. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen, man. They're not gonna allow it. Not in this economy, they won't. I tell you that right now. Not in an election. Not in an election year. <laughs> not, not in an election year. No, they won't. They ain't gonna allow that. <laughs> but yeah, that was right after the electric company. That was a couple years before Joe Clark. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, Greg. When you say when you say something like he's top five all time, that's I said he's close to it. Like, he's not top five, obviously. He's top ten though. I say he's top ten. I can give him that, sir. Jeez. I mean, if you talk about career I'm, and skills, who's coming close though? If yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta skills, talk about blockbuster films and ability to act. Because also, I, because there's a lot of people point, with blockbuster films that can't act for shit. Schwarzenegger. Wait, yo, that's not true, dog. That's not true. I'm well, talking about on that level of acting. I was with you till you said that name. No. Oh, look, yeah, I'm talking about the level of acting that we're Wait, talking about where people get Oscars out. Hold on, let me tell you a story. Not getting the Oscar. Let me tell you a story. So there's a guy who used to be a bodybuilder, okay? <laughs> let me finish. Let me finish the story. And then he became a governor of a state later on in life. And that he it, couldn't even pronounce, and it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, hey, come on. <laughs> Just go ahead, man. Keep going. Keep going. I, it. I never get to finish the story. <laughs> like, you know <laughs> go on. It is your own show. No, no, no. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But, but you see what I'm saying? If you're if you're talking about the guys that are that are blockbuster summer blockbuster dudes, don't usually get Oscar nods. True. Doesn't really happen. He's one of the few people that actually could pull that off. 
Schwarzenegger is not that Schwarzenegger is a bad actor or something like that. He's just not one of those guys. Like, no one's going to be like, <laughs> you know what? I think we got to tip the cap and give a nod to the Oscar battle to Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're never going to hear those words. Never. I got not going to happen you when it comes to Arnold. Get You're not going to hear it when it comes That's all huh? I got to say to that. Get to the chopper. <laughs> chopper. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> Yo, hilarious. <laughs> That's all I got to say, bro. That's it. I mean, what do you got to say to that? Boo. That's what oh, I Okay, you know what? <laughs> all right, now we're going to go ahead and try to wrap up the show. We can just do one last closing argument. Uh, for everybody, if you have one, if you don't, you say I say everything I said. That's cool. Mine is devil's advocate. I mean, what what do you want? What do you want from me, Antoine? Go. Listen, Big Willie, twenty plus years of straight hits. Enough said. Getting jiggy with it, uh, Greg. Hey man, it's Will. It's Will. It's always been Will. That's one of the poorest uh, <laughs> closing arguments I've ever heard in my entire life. I award you no points, sir. May God have it. I'm just playing. TJ, go. I've been saying, it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the best closing arguments I've ever heard. I'm just uh, and, and finally, Darian. Mr. Will Slapper Rock Smith. Now you just made it personal. You have people uh, going, personal. <laughs> going with known terrorists here. Uh, <laughs> so, hey, that's Hollywood today, man. Uh, Will Smith ended up pulling out for some people, maybe an upset against Keanu Reeves. Uh, we'll be back next time with another versus. I'm not. I'm just. I'm not going to spoil you who it is. You'll have to find out later. Yo, Del. And if you don't remember, it's always work at the post office.